Sports in town Annapolis this weekend as they're gearing up for a big weekend on the court at the Naval Academy. It's Army Navy basketball tomorrow. WMAR 2 News Sean Stepner caught up with the Mids today. He's in Annapolis with more. Sean. The Mids are ready for the rival of all rivals. It's definitely more than just a regular game. Honestly, it's kind of surreal. Just the week, the energy, the atmosphere, just the, the brigade. Like everyone's excited, everyone's ready to go. Against Army, the Black Knights come to town tomorrow and the stakes could not be higher. Both teams are bunched at the top of the Patriot League conference standings with five and two records. Captain Richard Njoku thinks Navy's experience should help them. They boast four returning starters from last year's team that went 12 and one in the league. The maturity level of this team is like really impressive. A lot of those guys, both our juniors and the seniors, played a lot of minutes this past season and won a lot of games last year as well. If history is any indicator, we are in for a close one. Two of the last three and four of the last 11 Army-Navy games have been extended into overtime. I think it is because of who it is and what's on the line and it's the pride thing. We want to win desperately, but we got to do what we're supposed to do to be successful. Army wants to win desperately. There's so much emotion involved. Uh, there's so much desire and want to in that game that like it doesn't matter, quote unquote, who's the better team on paper because there's so much more added factors that come into it. The Mids looking to replicate their road success at home tomorrow. Their seven true road wins are tied for most in the country. At home, they are four and four. Coach Ed DeCellis says his team has to figure that out. And then? We have enough in our, uh, in our locker room and our team to be as good as anybody, and I think we can challenge for this league, league title. Tomorrow's game is scheduled for a 1.30 p.m. tip here at Alumni Hall, but the Army-Navy festivities actually get going in the morning. The women's teams take the floor at 11. In Annapolis, Sean Stepner, WMAR 2 News.